CBS News Miami's Peter Dench joins us from Northeast Miami Dade. He has a new surveillance video that could offer a clue to the crime. Madette Laurent lost her life here on Sunday morning while crossing Northeast 6th Avenue at 149th Street. Family members tell us it's where she worked as a street vendor selling flowers and Haitian flags. That person killed me, killed my, my family, but the whole family, my sisters in Haiti, my brothers in Haiti, while now they are suffering. Nadesh Laurent is overwhelmed by her loss. Miami-Dade police say this is where her mother, Madette, was struck and killed by a hit-and-run driver. A new surveillance video from nearby shows the moments after the crash. My mom doesn't deserve that. She no, die like, a, die, like that. La, die like a dog like that in the street. The sentiments are shared by the brother of Madette Laurent. It's, it's very sad for the, for, 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 for the family. Everybody lo lo love her. Lauren's daughter shared this video of her mother and says she treasures the happier moments. Um, my mom was a, 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 um, a hard worker and they never stopped working. My mom loved her, a lot, her children. My mom loved food, loved cooking for people. My mom loved family. My mom, she's my hero. My mom have, has five children in Haiti, actually. I'm the only one in here. Miami Dade police say the crash happened at 525 Sunday morning. Lorenz's daughter is pleading for help from the community. I need my mom back. I need that person just, I need justice. I can't believe someone could do such things. <laughs> Unbelievable. I need some help. I need someone to help me, please. Please, I need some help. Miami-Dade police tell us they're looking for a maroon-colored SUV that may be a Liberty Jeep. If you can help them, call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. There is a reward in this case of up to $5,000. In Northeast Miami-Dade, Peter Dench, CBS News, Miami.